Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna be checking out a couple maps by Maui. Um, he released two free ones on the marketplace a few weeks back. I hope you got in there and snatched them up while you could. Um, we're gonna take a look at them and a couple different methods of how you might be able to use the maps, uh, some first person and third person uh, interactivities there. Um, they're really nice, super detailed, high quality. I believe most of it's procedural, um, just good textures, good models, just about everything. So uh, let's dive into it real, real quick. So the first one here, this is the broadleaf forest biome. Um, this is during the autumn mode. Um, so I have it adjusted, uh, the lighting a little bit and so forth. Dropped in a random building and a character here. So this is kind of what it would look like if you were running a first person view on this. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Maybe you could come up with some sort of free runner idea where you could run through a forest from different checkpoints. The faster you move, the, the better your score, and hit different checkpoints and things like that would be kind of neat. Um, you can see it runs pretty smooth. This is a 4090. Um, just visually, it looks pretty good. I know I got the bloom and stuff uh, kind of cranked up pretty high at the moment, but I kind of like the effect that it had going on. Um, but super high quality. Collisions are already in place, everything, it's super nice. The next one here is the conifer forest biome. This is actually in the winter version. Uh, all of the maps come with a autumn, summer, and winter mode. Um, so this is a winter one. We got a third person character we slapped in here. Uh, this is another asset from the marketplace. I'll link these down below in the description. Um, great effects. So when you're first in editor mode, you don't see all the snow, but once you actually simulate the map, all the effects come in, the snow lays down on the ground, and a lot of the uh, trees get covered in snow and branches and everything. It's really, really cool. Very well detailed. I can imagine using something similar like this, um, you know, Tomb Raider style or some sort of adventure exploring type game, I think would be really cool. You can see it actually has interactions with the trees. They do move a little bit as you walk past them. Um, you could probably take it up a couple steps here and just drop in some cool snow prints or something like that, some sort of effect to, as she's traveling through the snow, but super nice, super well detailed. Um, like I said, it comes in three different versions, the winter, autumn, and a summertime. These are all super adjustable, and you can, you can also fine tune the look of the map, how you like it and so forth, but it looks really good, super well detailed. I like this one a lot. Here we are still on the same map, the conifer forest biome, and this is actually the daylight version, but what I've done is I've taken the sun down and made it almost completely dark, cranked up the fog a little bit, and dropped in this military character and um, used a bunch of post-processing effects on the camera to kind of give it that night vision, kind of green glow. So you could see how something like this would be really cool if you were working on some sort of uh, strategy or tactical kind of game. Um, you could use this as a little bit of tunnel vision. It creates that uh, atmosphere of night vision at night. You can see here I placed a little wolf in the scene and uh, if you take the materials and you cause a little bit of emissive on it, it kind of glows extra. It's kind of neat, almost almost like real um, night vision would. Um, and this is just another example of how really detailed the map is and how great it is. And you can literally just drop in some characters and have some pretty cool effect going on. So there you have it. A couple neat little ways that you could utilize those Maui maps. Um, they were in the marketplace for free for a couple weeks. I don't think it's uh, available for free any longer, um, but they're usually 200 bucks a pop. So it was a really good deal. They're super detailed, custom scanned objects and stuff. They are really, really nice. Uh, hats off to those guys for doing an amazing job. Um, but I hope you like this. We can kind of just drop in a few different assets and characters, create our own first person or third person game. You know, super simple exploration. Uh, it looks really cool. They've done a great job on it. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I appreciate it. Till next time, peace out.